Okay, so on to the next track, Slash Performance in uh, Sonia's Young Soul Saturdays. Man, I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. We are now literally on the ninth track. We're almost done. We're only doing 10 today, um, which is quite a lot. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. The variety has been absolutely incredible. And um, we have just been listening to such great music. There's been some classics. There's just been just awesome. Really, what a great selection today. This over here is Shinedown. We have heard Shinedown. We've had a couple of uh, reactions to Shinedown. Although I've never heard this particular song called Evolve. So a couple of people, I think Teresa is going to be very happy about this. And so will Sammy because he loves Shinedown too. So let's uh, rock and roll. Let's see what we got. Everything is so important until it's not. Catch this sale. Make that deal. Fueled by $10 lattes and pharmaceutical toxins. Driven by the fear of missing out, we walk right into a carefully laid trap of our own design. And yet we still act surprised. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, it that's comes down. so well said. We acting all surprised. Specifically in today's society, we literally blindly just walking off a cliff. Do you know what I mean? And then we act like surprised when everyone's depressed, when everyone's uh, um, confused, when nobody knows their identities. Everybody thinks, as uh, well, they have their own identities that matches the rest of society. That's the uniqueness, right? The diversity is diversity as long as it's, as long as it falls in line with a certain mentality. Do you know what I mean? And then we create all of those pigeonholes for ourselves, and then when it feels like our entire lives aren't working. It's like, but why? I love that. I love that notion as well from like Europe. Europe, everyone, uh, uh, Europe is moving right. They're moving to the authoritarian right. And the media is like, oh, just this phenomenon. All of a sudden, Europe is just turning to the, to, to right, to the far, well, I wouldn't say far right, but to the right parties. Why? You know what I mean? It's like, why have we as liberal democratic parties who have gone absolutely loopy, we're just so confused. Why? That's when you know that they're completely fucking, completely out of touch with society. Right? You see it everywhere. You see it in all uh, sorts of society. You see it with politicians. You see it with uh, um, news agencies. You see it with social media. You see it with everybody. And you don't realize do you know what I mean? When you call a whole group of people deplorables and you tell them that they're idiots and you say that they are the danger to the United States and you are the danger to democracy and blah, 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 blah. I don't know why everybody likes Trump. I don't know why everyone's supporting Trump. Why is Trump so fucking famous? Why is everybody so supportive of Trump? Oh, no, it's because they're stupid. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Why? Why is Trump uh, 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 so popular? Do you know what I mean? Maybe because because you keep insulting your base. Maybe it's because you keep insulting the people that used to vote for you, and now, and the more they vote against you, the more they insult you. I, I don't know. What wow, fucking phenomenon? <laughs> Who knew? Surprised when it all comes down. I like this. This has got that shine down energy, though. I love shine has got the fucking a, a very particular, unique style where it's very energetic. world's gone mad it is so sad look what we've become 100 percent i'm dying to know what's in those briefcases though probably money why would they be giving each other money 
one of those briefcases contains money. The other briefcase contains, I don't know, something, the key to society, whatever. Uh oh. Doesn't that feel like what politicians do to you, the way he actually sprayed her? It almost feels like this is a, an exchange of uh, things. So it's like, you give me money and I'll provide you services. That's the deal we have in society, correct? Right? But then they come with this fugazi and they smoke screen shit, right? And they're not actually providing you services. They're taking the bulk of your money. Your inner city still stay the exact same, but they take the bulk of your money and give it to industrial quarter <laughs> in uh, the military industrial complex for overseas wars. They give it to pharmaceutical companies. So all of your money goes into private pockets, right? And then they play this fugazi game where they say, no, we got to pass this bill for your benefit, but money moves upwards, right? So when they pass the bill for your benefit, they give you a little check. You go and you spend it on the on S&P 500 companies and all that money gets filtered up to the top CEOs in the fucking United States. And you feel like, Oh, well, I got something this month, sure. But then inflation hits and then you, it's basically the greatest tax of all. And uh, inflation hits, the rich's assets are worth more and your money is worth less. You can buy less and the rich are worth more, right? This whole just bullshit that they try to play with your mentality. It's exactly what they're doing over here. They gaslight you the entire time. And all the time that they make it seem like those policies, right? Are for you for your benefit right and then we got to do this for your benefit and if it's a policy that's kind of somewhat draconian they play it as oh this is only temporary it's only for this period of time there's nothing more permanent than a temporary fucking government policy do you know what I mean but they play these games with you and things like that and that's this is literally what I think they trying to um speak to over here where people just need to fucking wake up and see what this how the system actually runs how the system actually operates and the problem is that the majority of people don't actually understand how money works they don't understand how economies work they don't understand how any of these things work they just see the bottom line of something and that's how people just get swindled by these fucking politicians the same with that whole tax the rich bullshit tax them tax them as much as you want it doesn't matter it makes no difference to the rich literally they don't have piles of money lying around in like a big vault like scrooge mcduck right they've got it through a very complex network of shell companies that are going across the globe one company pays the next the next the next they extract money out of the country everything is tied up in assets and stocks and they don't pay tax so tax of 90 percent it makes no difference right but it sounds like a very cool tagline right you pay it. Don't worry, you'll pay it anyway. Uh oh. to run that far i mean it looked like a relatively small bomb underneath there i can't imagine that c4 it could be c4 maybe actually maybe it could take out the whole building i don't know what the strength of c4 is but that doesn't look like it, it looks pretty small to me Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh, God, that's a... That's a... It's a fairly sizable bomb. <laughs> she had to get out of there. Anyway, find your own solutions. Yep, that is 100%, right? I like that line specifically, find your own solutions, because you should be taking accountability of your own life. You should be, right? very much um, um, uh, your own your own person and take agency over your own life because if you're waiting for a government entity to do that for you <laughs> wait if you want to work. let's see how far you go with that I love you all please stay safe please stay healthy I'll catch you in the next one peace